Hello class. This is example three or exercise three dash two number seven, the snowman is stool. It's on page eighty five in the Alice book. Um, we're gonna have to start Alice up, and it wants us to create a world with a snowman and a stool. And even though the book shows it in a grass world, I'm gonna put it in a snow field because well, it's a snowman, and well, snowmen belong in snow, right? Uh, it doesn't matter what objects you use because it's the functionality and the programming that matters. So if you were, wanted to use a penguin and a table instead of a bar stool and a snowman, then I don't care. You could do this in space. You could do this in grass. That kind of thing doesn't matter as long as you get um, the functionality of what the objects are supposed to do correct, then I'm satisfied. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is add our objects. Uh, we need to add the snowman and the stool. The stool is going to be in the kitchen. Took me a while to figure that out since I figured it would be in the furniture class. Um, the snowman are going to be in the people class. And so there. So I've got my snowman, I got my stool. I'm going to move the snowman back here. I'm going to move the stool closer to us. And so um, we got our scene set up. I'm going to click Done to return to normal view. I'm going to expand this out just a little bit more just to see. OK, so we need to uh, move the snowman to the stool in one meter increments. Uh, the book says to use a loop. So down here on the conditional toolbar, we're going to grab loop and bring it out, drop it into the method editor. Uh, we're going to let it go. Um, we can pick any one of these um, um, uh, loop counters because we're going to change that. Um, we're not going to loop it a certain number of times. We're going to loop it uh, dependent on a variable in the world, and this variable would be the distance from the snowman to the stool. All right, so we've got the loop in there. So let's go ahead and bring in what we're talking about. So in the functions, let's, let's expand this out so we can see the entire name of all these functions. Um, we have a, see now I, I'm getting ready to make a mistake. I have the stool selected. And I don't want the properties and, and methods and functions of the stool. I want it of the snowman. So make sure you have the correct object selected. So. Uh, the snowman distance to the stool is what we're going to use for the number of loop times. So you're going to click in the uh, functions window, find that category, drag and drop it over top of the loop counter. Um, make sure you set it to stool. So we're going to loop the number of uh, t uh, the distance between the snowman and the stool. All right, so that's our loop set up uh, to to get what we want it to do, we want the snowman to move to the stool, we're going to have to add a snowman move method into the loop. That would be the one thing that it's going to be executed. Uh, which way do we want it to go? Up, down, left, right, forward, back? Well, I mean, things that move usually, you know, walk forward. So let's pick forward and we're going to pick one meter. So we got it, we got it done, right? Is this correct? Let's see what happens. We hit play, snowman starts moving, but wait, we want it to move towards the stool. Right now it's just moving forward. We really can't tell if we've done it right because we don't even see it on the screen anymore. And so what we're going to do is we have to add something ahead of it. We have to make sure that the snowman turns to the stool before it starts moving. That way, when it starts moving forward, it will be towards the stool. So ahead of this loop, in front of that, we're going to add um, snowman turn to face. Drag it and drop it. Make sure you get it right above and turn to face stool. So right now, the snowman is going to turn to face the stool first, and then the loop will set up. Let's see if it works. Play. It turns. It starts moving. Five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 10 times, so we were about 10 meters away. That works. Well, let's try it again. Let's, let's move the stool way back here. 
Now let's see what happens. Snowman turns towards the stool, starts moving. All right, one more time. Let's take this stool and let's move it really close. And then let's zoom in. These controls are finicky. You have to kind of get used to them. Now let's see what happens. Turns, moves, one, it only moved one time because we were less than two meters away. So it only moved the full first meter and then stopped. So that is the example uh, number seven in the book. Uh, I hope this helps you.